Hello and welcome to my show. Today we begin by playing Octagon. Now you can buy some stuff from the shell shop, but you don't really need it. But if you buy like five stuff, which you use with shells as the main currency, um, basically if you get five things, you get extra health. Now we begin with this guy. Now I get a. Now we're gonna use his tentacles to like just destroy these submarines. It's like trying to kill. It's like I have to dish, just survive through the wave. Basically, that's really what matters. Oh, currency! That's good. We can use it to create some defenses. But we just begin with bare tentacles. Usually an octopus's hands. If you are an octopus, you'd say them as that. <laughs> then again, they can't talk with us. Anyways. Now we can get some weapons. Now the basic ones are mostly the snake and then the crab. I'm going to get the crab because it does more damage and also the snake too. Just for some more damage. Now you see this will make a big improvement. The nastiest submarines, I think, are the speedy ones. Like the fastest ones, basically. But thanks to that claw, we can dispatch those armored units in a single hit. With this claw, but with this snake, it would use five hits. On the next level. Now this game is pretty hard. The best I did was get to I get I got halfway through. I'm gonna get another crab and the snake at the bottom just because the crabs are like super effective. But they they don't shoot as fast as the snakes. So you can even focus on high damage which are like the crab claws and lobsters but you don't usually get to use those a lot at the beginning because the only things you would have would be the crabs or the lobster okay now that was bad news okay this is kind of the nasty kind of nasty guy because he's like he's like he's literally the hardest guy to avoid like because he spits out these like toad like toadlets now that a big hit basically I'm using the claws here I'm doing very high damage oh no he's hit he almost hit me there plus the spin attack I think is the best attack if you have like that thing where if you get one damage you create this like wave that can kill enemies it it's pretty good when you have that because it like if you use health it like basically damages the enemy in a distance basically like the further they are the less effective but it works i mean like 
works at least. Like anything that works is at least better than nothing. Like that penguin would freeze the enemies. Which by the way, it's pretty is kind of useless but at the same time it's very useful for those speedy points because the speedy subs and speedy points because they're like very fast you know what i mean and that freezing just really helps to slow them down kind of i'm a very close range unit which might remain a bit of a problem for me especially for these balloon guys because if i don't if i'm too close then i'll get damage which might be a problem for you later but since i'm right now not on a very high level it's gonna be easy but eventually i'll have to fight down a guy called the butcher and that guy is very hard the kangaroo boss, I think, is impossible to defeat without the, like, um, porcupine, because the porcupine does decent damage to him. Like, by decent, I mean, like, it takes out a bit of his health. You know what I mean? Plus, over there, I used a chain reaction. Now basically, all these units are actually spawned through these buildings. So if there were no buildings, then there would be no one attacking me really. Plus you can see at my health bar that I only have one health. But I have three lives, so if I die, I can come back. But if I die again and then again, I'm done basically. Oh, DNA, most important thing in life, DNA. Like with an A, like DN. Okay, now I have one life. Now this I talked about. Now I'm gonna try and go maximum damage, basically. Like I'm trying, I'm gonna try and like put a little snake down here with four crabs it looks kind of like some sort of majestic being arrows like it's pretty awesome but at the same time it's kind of chaotic because imagine if we had giant four giant crab hands trying to destroy you and at the then at the same time like um like um Okay, targeting is like kind of a problem in the game. Now, we're quickly sealing up these guys, kind of losing though, especially to those balloons. I mean like those like um, speedy points. They're like, I think, the nastiest things in the game because they like, they go so fast, it's difficult to hit them at certain times. So, I think... If you want to make it easy to kill the speedy points, then the best option is really just the snake. But then again, the claw does more damage than the snake. Okay, that's not a big problem now. Now I got the lobster claw. Now I was talking about the lobster claw before, but this weapon is pretty powerful. It can do like unimaginable amounts of damage. But we don't have enough money for it, so I presume we might save up for the lobster. 
so we're gonna continue just because we can't replace much. Gone. Like, plus, hitting with two is worse than one, at least. Like, everyone knows that, right? <laughs> I did a chain reaction over there. Oh, great. They said that a nuclear balloon. Just for me to explode with a snake and then continue. <laughs> Stupid. That's what I call stupid things now. And by stupid, I mean like, why would they just send in a nuclear balloon just to get exploded by me and then make me continue on? I mean like, these speedy planes are like really nasty. They're like smart, but at the same time, like kind of stupid. Like, oh my God. They're <laughs> Okay. Now. Okay, now health is the biggest problem in the game. Basically, health, you know what I mean? Like, because if you wanna heal, but then you have low health, that's a real problem because then you would have to find a health plane. And even then, those health planes are kind of rare in the game. They're like, kind of rare. Plus I lost again, but then again, I can get the lobster claw. Well, a lobster is pretty dangerous. So I'm gonna put it here. Just to replace one of my crabs. Maybe put another lobster here and then maybe if I have enough money, I might eventually unlock the chicken weapon and replace these two crabs eventually with chickens. Now the chickens are kind of a powerful weapon in the game. Like they don't do a lot of damage, but they do a area damage. So they're a key to fighting off these nasty piranha things now for right now they won't show up but eventually they're gonna show up and that's gonna cause them a real big problem because you can only you can only hit a few of them with one attack the swarms of them are mostly the most harmful like the swarms of five of them because they can like be in packs or they can be one as the minimum amount of groups they can be in, or maximum five. And the, the maximum swarms are the most common, I guess. Like, compared to others, they're the most common type of group. Also, one, the ones, the ones on their own, but they're not the but they're the second most popular. Meaning, they aren't as good as them. They aren't as, like, good. They aren't as common as the five swarms, but still, they are pretty bad. Just less a bit. I got an idea. If I shoot this one, it'll shoot this one and it'll cause a chain reaction and then kill this one. Plus, the shrine just tell us like, hey, we're gonna send them three players and then destroy this octopus. <laughs> and then they just like all got <laughs> killed because they did not know that I was actually sending I was actually, sh I was, my claws were like right in front of them because they were like, it, they didn't plan for it. They were like, we're gonna just fight this one bear. And then they, it's 
sounds like they just got destroyed by me, like they didn't know what they were doing. Or they were stupid, of course. Anyways, we're continuing. And since the penguin, lobster, snake, and crab are the only weapons, we will end up having all three of them or just one missing one. Basically, we don't have the crab here because, well, we don't have an extra slot. To have. That's not bad news. And now, we have to fight the butcher. And by butcher, you might be thinking of someone holding a knife who will just butcher animals. Well, I'm not thinking of that. The real boss looks a little bit more like a giant robot with one single eye that just smashes things with, with his front um, like thing. And then he like shoots out these knives like an incendiary attack, kind of. Like for its ranged attack. Plus, you never know where they're gonna hit unless they warn you that there's like a target on the ground. And if there's a target on the ground, that can only mean that there's something that's about to hit you that's gonna fall out from the sky in about in a few times. Now, here is where what I said comes to life. This is what I'm talking about. The butcher. And he sometimes says this weird thing called fresh meat. I don't know why he does that, but it's kind of weird at the same time. Like, because, like, well, it's like trying to... Now, we're gonna wait, go in, hit, hit, run away. Okay, now this is gonna get really hard real quick. Now it's gonna be significant harder to remove when there's all these infinite enemies. And now I played for as long as I can do, so I'm gonna go to the main menu and I'll see you soon, so bye.